to those of you who joined me for last night's attempted premiere. Thank you for being there. And sorry to those of you who didn't see it. Uh, this same video premiered and uh, it was missing all of Dimash's audio. So that's super awkward. So here is round number two of my reaction to Dimash Kerrigimili. Sorry, I, I definitely butchered that. But here is my here is my reaction to it, this time with his audio. So I just re-exported it and recorded this really embarrassing video for you. <laughs> okay, here it is. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor. And it's a Dimash day. I literally, I feel like I, I feel like I've heard everything he could have done. And I know that I haven't. I'm just saying I feel like I've heard everything that he could have done. Because it's like, what else can he do? Like, what does he have left to prove to anybody? Because he is just, like, he is just. Like, what do you even say? Nothing. You can't say anything. You can't say nothing. I really don't have anything to add. He's just extraordinary in every possible way. And, uh, yeah. Let's watch another one of his things. Before we do that, though, I do want to say thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Of course, uh, it, it, it lets me focus on my writing, on my editing, my acting, my auditions. Uh, and I am leaving this week to go film for several weeks. I made a post about it. You guys will see that. Um, maybe I'll be able to take some behind the scenes pictures and, and post them. I have to see, uh, I have to get permission to do that always. Thank you so much for that. And thank you to those of you who are watching some of my other content, especially the uh, non-reaction stuff. I'm trying to bring you guys some some other content that's not just, uh, not just reactions, but talking about acting or talking about um, film and everything like that. So thank you so much for watching that. And uh, I appreciate all of you. I'll, uh, I'll stop talking. How's that? And we'll just jump in and see this. This is one of the most requested songs from Dimash. It is a live performance, and I'm excited to check it out. Here we go. Is that Igor Krutoy? I just assume anyone playing a piano is him. The emotion on his face. Sorry, I think, did someone tell me that this is a song he, he had to dedicate to um, to someone that he lost? It was like a music teacher, a voice teacher that, that passed away, which is heartbreaking. Um, and you can see that emotion in his face. But the emotion that's that's playing there, it's in his eyes, it's in his forehead, it's in everything about his demeanor. That is, it, this feels very... Um, I think I said lament in the last thing for him, but it feels like a, there's a lot of, there's a lamenting feel. There's this really visceral sense of loss. The other thing I want to point out just really quickly, and this is a purely technical thing, is the Dutch angle shot that they used, which was very clever because it showed both the piano, the man's picture in the background, and Dimash all in one shot. But it also shows that something about Dimash's world and something about this performance is off. Something about it is off center uh, and, and, approached from a different angle and so um that was really really well done on their part <laughs> I'm 
Beautiful, beautiful work on the piano. Before Dimash gets into his next thing, I want to first acknowledge that that's clearly not Igor at the piano, but shout out to Igor, you're very, very good, and this piano player is also very good. The other thing I wanted to say is the stars that are behind them have this sense of the forever and the eternal that's back there, and then also they've got those stars kind of mimicked where the audience would be for this. I assume that this was during the pandemic, and that's why there was nobody there. Uh, and then they've got the, the stage is bathed in blue and purple. And those are very calming colors. Those are also colors associated with loss and with coldness. Um, well, blue is, but purple sort of has this sense of love and of life. And so combining those colors, loss and life, love and loss, uh, is, is really beautifully done. And his voice is just so soothing and so um, both sorrowful and celebratory in this and um it's it's really really powerful <laughs> Makes it all sound so easy. I think it's really, really easy to go off pitch when you're emotional, and he's clearly very invested in this song, but instead of... I think there's nerves that he's got, and I think you can see that, and I think what he's doing that is so brilliant is taking that and turning it into performance. And I, I think every performer has nerves. I'm not saying that he has any reason to be nervous. He can clearly sing the song. But to convey that into this tension in his forehead instead of in his neck tension in his eyes instead of in his mouth that's where the professional separates themselves because he can do that and he can be fully invested while still remaining technically perfect and that's beautiful to watch the other thing i wanted to point out real quick is look at the way that his face is bathed in light so we can see all of him there's not even a shadow on the other side of his nose unless he turns his face all the way but the corner of his face right here catches the shadow and the blue light from behind catches him right there on his jawline. So not only does it define the side of his face as we lose it to darkness, it gives us a line that we can see where his face ends, but also it reinforces that sense of sorrow and that there's this, there's this shadow that's kind of hovering over him in this um, while still being a sense of calm. And I think that's really a very subtle, but very tender, beautiful thing to do. So we're back to this Dutch angle shot. Fog is a nice touch too. How beautiful is that shot? I really don't want to pause it. I don't. I'm sorry. I just, I wanted to talk about one thing and, and uh, 
we'll go back. Uh, so I'm back 20 seconds, but when he does the, I'm not going to, I'm going to butcher the language and I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be offensive, but the, what's the way his mouth moves when he goes, you can see him actually pushing it through his throat. He's obviously supporting with his diaphragm, but pushing it through and then shaping it with his mouth. And then he closes it off right there. Instead of ceasing the air, he closes it off with his mouth. And it's a really subtle, beautifully technical, very raw and emotional way to approach it. See that? See how open it got? Very powerful. Very, very powerful. I think I said everything that needs to be said. It was very raw. It was very emotional um, and painful and real. And he kept it authentic. He didn't try to force anything. He just, he, he wanted to communicate how he was feeling and say his goodbye in a very public way. And I, I thought it was stunning. I thought it was wonderful. Thank you so much for asking me to watch this. I know there's a bunch of other recommendations and we will absolutely get there because he is terrific. Thank you so much for watching. And until I see you next time, please fix your posture. You just saw me do it. Drink lots of water and please be well. I'll see you soon.